Good morning or evening, friends. Welcome to the show that never ends. This is JP here with Wise Guys Gaming, and we are going to take a look at my boy Fujin. Swag King Fujin. That is his new name. I don't care if that's the name you want or not. He is Swag King Fujin. Am I in the right variation? I don't think so. Downburst variation one. Anybody? Somebody? Oh, y'all can't tell me. That's right. This is not live. All right. We're just going to talk a little bit about Fujin. I'm going to try to be a little less long-winded, and I'm going to try to do this all in one take. Sip of some Milo sweet tea, and off we go. This is Fujin. Thunder God, Brother to Not Thunder. Wind God, Brother to Raiden. Um, let's just take a look at some of his normals. I'm going to hit some of the keys. First and foremost, we got all the standards. Is there a crushing blow we need to talk about? There is with the uppercut, but we all know that. And that's really about it. There's this, but we'll we'll get to that later, I guess. If we get to that at all, because I've never actually used it. So, to say I'm going to get to something that I haven't used, I don't know. We will see. But I know it is not available in this variation. So we're going to talk about... This is okay. That's pretty good. This is okay. This is good because it has a launch, and that launch comes in handy. It also is part of a combo that also comes in handy. Those are your fours. You also have the sweep, which is a nice standing sweep. It's pretty quick. You get a nice little throw. If you see, he can like grab the side of your head and push them down. Mm, so mean. Uh, the standard jump kick. Nothing really great about the arc. Same with the three. Three gives you this nice little slide with forward three. That's pretty beneficial because it is special cancelable. So keep that in mind. Um, down three is okay. Down four is okay. Pretty good range on both. Down three looks like it has a little more. Nothing special. It doesn't do much damage though. Ten damage ain't that much at all. Down one does more than that. So, uh, those are your three, your your kicks that you need to know about. Punch, punch, punch. This one does have a little sword, but that's part of a combo. Then you have your twos. This is special. The uppercut's okay. I don't like the arc of it. But it's okay. Uh, but your forward and back two are very important. Uh, your forward two slams them. And both of which can be combos to throw. To get people over him. And deal damage. You kind of want them to be close. Uh, you can hold back. Let me show this for the representation. That's mid screen. If you hold back, it's a lot closer. Either way, you want to get them close enough to where you can get both hits of it. Amplifiable in another uh, variation. We also have his throws, which I think one of them has a crushing blow. Oh, both of them have crushing blow. Isn't that sweet? Let's go to practice options. You see a crushing blows. Take a look at these. Shut organ. Wood shoot. So let's talk about variation one. I'm gonna pepper in what's what is common to all variations as I do the variations, just because there's no need to. Uh, I don't want to just talk about the regular stuff. I want to talk about it all in one could go. So this is downburst. Downburst is going to give you these special moves. Some of these will be regular, and other one, and some are not. Uh, the first is a uh, basic special move, which is the crossbow blast. Mm. Shoot you in your dome. Can be amplified to get two shots. Not a lot of damage. It is a high. The second shot is also a high at two, I think. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's okay. It's not great. It's okay. Uh, the next thing that is a universal is the... <laughs> I don't know what it's called. I'm going to call it the hurricane kick as often as possible, I'm sure, though. Oh, yeah, I need to go back to that. The tornado. It's very special. Uh, 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 uh. It's really nice looking. Can be amplified. Uh, it is best to amplify on either the third or fourth hit. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you do it on the second hit, you will not get it. You, you really got to do it on third or fourth. 
you do it on third, it'll come out almost every time. Whoops, too early. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, almost every time. It's kind of a late one. So if you want to do four, I mean, you got all day to amplify it. One, two, three. Ah, three's not working right now. Either way, that's what you're looking at. Uh, with the crossbow boat, by the way, you can also angle it if you want to burn your meter. So that's the regular. Look at that. You can angle it in the air for a nice anti-air. You can angle it on the ground. You have options, which will also get you around some things. If you play like a Shiva who's going to eat your projectile, not anymore. Um, but that, that does take away a meter to do, so it may not be worth it. In addition, I don't think you can do... Can you? Oh, you can. Yeah, okay. That's pretty sick. So you got options. You got a lot of things you can do. It's not as good as anti-air. It's just the straight up uppercut, but pretty quick. And it catches them if they're jumping away. So you got options. Let's take a look at some, that all the special moves we need to talk about. Oh, the retreating and advancing tornado or the air tornado. Divine wind, did I do divine wind? Oh, okay. Oh, it is in this variation. So you basically get your overhead. And that's that crushing blow that I said I wasn't gonna do. But it is a pop-up. I actually really like this variation, so. If I play people, I'll probably be playing this one. Even though this is the less swag-tastic of the variations. Mmm! Okay. But you can do this. One more thing. Hang on. You can always slide, slide, flip and slide. Live in the city, it's do or die. Thirty percent, nice. All right, so that's just something easy with this. You get your hop attacks, basically. You can cancel it and drop down. All kinds of good stuff. Um, the other thing is the advancing tornado, which you can do in the air, or retreating tornado, or just a tornado. If you do it in the air or on the ground. This is part of where the swag tasticness comes through. Uh, for that Swagtastic, we're going to go over the... Well, let me do this. That's advancing. This is retreating. This is straight. If you get somebody on the corner and you want to do a nice little mix-up, you can just jump over them and do it. Problem is, this is not Street Fighter, so your mix-up does not really matter because they don't have to block left or right. They can just block and still get your block on. But if they're thinking that you're going to do something ridiculous, like try to jump over and throw them... Then you just... Oh! Can I... Oh! Look at that. Ah! Oh. <laughs> That's pretty sick. <laughs> swag! Alright. So, now we're going to get to the swag part of Fujin. Which is all of his combos. Combos. His combos, which I enjoy thoroughly. And because of his special moves, allow him to get some swag. Let's start with the beginning. Ah, oh, that's a nice one-two. 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 The one-two combo is pretty good. It's nothing special. You can finish it up with a kick. Where is it? Wow. Well. Am I, I'm doing the wrong string, aren't I? Yeah, I'm doing the wrong string. Whoops. One-one. Sorry. This is the... It looks, it looks pretty similar. And 1-1. One, 1-2? One. One, 1-1. One, one. Alright, so 1-1. One, one, you can finish with that kick. It doesn't do much damage, but it is pretty fast. Startup is 11 frames. Nothing special. Pretty quick. Eh, it's, it's okay. The fun part here is... Doop, 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 doop. You can get your combos going. It doesn't do well with the tornado. But it's, it's okay. See? You really want to be able to hit that with your combo start. But if you're in a jam and you need to match something out, you can do it, I guess. It's a high mid. Like most other ones. And you can back the opponent away if you get a hit. Get back. And then you can go back to playing your mid range. He is really good in the mid range. Uh, second is the 1-2. Two. 
The one two, which is what I was showing you earlier, also comes with his kicks. I don't think the kicks are cancelable. I think I cancelled them one time and I haven't been able to do it since. But it is a dial -a combo. Which means you have to finish the entirety of the... This is the easy part. That is special cancelable. One, two. One, two. And you can get a combo off that. Ugh. Wow, really? Ta -da. Um, so you do have that option, but you have to do the four, four, three, four before anything, before one and two are done to get the rest of it come out. So you got to know what you're doing. I don't think it's special. It may be after that first kick, but maybe. Mm. One, two, four, three, four. This is rough. I hate dollar combos. And I can't cancel it, so. It's nice. Is that overhead? Nope, all mids. It's okay. Nothing special. This is the one I get a lot of use out of double mid attack it's actually pretty quick for what it is it is faster than your 1-1 your startup is faster uh, it's not quite as good on block but your startup is faster and you get a combo that allows you to either a special cancel or finish the combo out get some range and some distance and it also goes to one of your fatalities they're not fatalities but fatalities but it is special cancel, and that's a big deal. I think you can actually, yeah, you can definitely actually special cancel this one after you put it in. So now you got more options there. If you have to do a dial the combo, Fatal Edge and Howling Winds are the ones you might want to do. Quick start up, and you know a lot of work you can do. It's nice. Uh, Heavenly Tilt. So this one's actually really neat because I feel like most of the utility from this is going to come from actually whiffing the combo. Um, if you don't whiff, that's fine. It's kind of a slow startup. But if you don't whiff, that's fine. But you do have other options. So if you want the low, you can whiff. It's really nice. Huh? Huh? Special cancelable, that's good. But you can also do it from here. And that way you get the low. Especially because that hit looks like it's gonna be an overhead, so if they block high, all of a sudden you you get them low and you're back in there putting pressure on them. The other hit is a projectile. Does 90 damage alone. And it does some pretty good work. It's not very far. Again, this mid-range is where he kind of shines. So if you come in a little bit, boom, you get a poke. Because they don't think you're going to do that. And it's not very good on block. Actually, it's relatively safe on block. That's the one I was thinking of. So, good. Not great. I've already shown you this. Well, I did that wrong twice. Really fun. It doesn't do a lot of damage. Honestly, I, I think it's more for swag than anything. 130 ain't bad, though. I mean, it's okay. 13% off of just one little combo. It's not bad. Uh, these are some of the things you might want to keep in mind. I love this string. I like to stop it here. That is special cancelable. It is not special cancelable when you finish it up. Nothing you can do there. But just these two, you got all the stuff in the world, including what is the swaggiest stuff. In this variation. Then you also have the Zephyr, Crushing Zephyr, which does have a crushing blow if the second hit hits twice in a row. So what you want to do is, oh you're waking up, oh yeah. I don't know that you can combo into that. I'm sure you can, I just haven't figured it out yet, but I'm sure there's something you can do. I just hadn't figured it out. 
my bad. But this is most of the bread and butter that I see. Uh, like I said, this is a good combo to start with. Uh, this is good for range. You got work. Uh, if you want to, a lot of what you'll be able to do, especially early on while people are trying to learn the character, is play within this range, get your slide, and go in for some damage. Just want to be annoying at this range. Oh, that is a combo, by the way. You can do the slide into a punch. That does a knockdown. Looks like a pretty hard knockdown, too. Yeah, you can. You got some pretty good plus frames there. So you have work to do. Also, special cancel. So, what I found in this one, and this is why, why, part of the reason I call him Swag King, is because this move right here, when you can amplify it, becomes so much fun. You can amplify it up to two times and use all your bar. So, you can advance, amplify, and retreat. So, all that. So you can couple that into your combo and get all this damage. Do you see this? It's just so swaggy. It is swaggy and I love it. It's almost 40% just off this. And this is some of his least swaggy stuff. Not to mention this attack just inherently oh by the way yeah this can be done in the air as well these kicks and can be amplified from the air but it's just so much you can do and everything looks cool almost 30 30 percent off of one little combo it's insane Uh, 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 okay, that's harder. But I can do that, though. Let's try that one more time. Oops, wrong button. Do it again. One, two, three. I'm do it again. One, two. One, two. That I wasn't gonna keep you guys that long, and here I am. You have to understand, I'm a fan of this game. So I see things and I wanna try it out right there on the fly. But I've told you basically all you really need to know as far as this goes. I enjoy this as the combo starter. It is slow, and that is not very safe. That uh where is it? not terrible it's not super safe though you gotta really be careful with that uh where's just a standing neutral negative four eh, it's not bad if you get the hit you get some fun there it goes haha -ha. so you have options you have things you can work on uh again mid-range is where i like to play this aim high aim low he doesn't really have a lot of like it's funny because he doesn't have a whole lot of stuff but the stuff that he has is so much fun like I don't know who worked on him they were just like we're gonna give him a bunch of cool moves <laughs> but they're not that effective doesn't matter we're gonna give him a bunch of cool moves yeah but like we can give him so much other stuff nah it's okay you make him cool super duper swag so that is the original variation, his or tournament variation, the downburst. I happen to like downburst a lot. It's probably the one I'm going to use more often than not. Just to be real. All right, this one's Cloud Walker, and you gain some stuff and lose some stuff. So you get your crossbow still. You still get to angle it. Um, instead of your hurricane kicks it's replaced by this move all mid it can't be amplified for an overhead that hits and knocks your opponent out of the park I find myself doing this a lot mainly because that hits three times and most people don't pay attention to it 
So they block the first two hits, and then get hit by the third, and then that puts you back in an uh, advantage. Um, in addition to that, I'll get to the key part of this in a minute. The Skywalker is the, the key part. Skywalker. <laughs> uh, let's go to this. We'll control Shang Tsung for a second. Uh, ah, ha, ha. I'm Shang Shady. Alright, so you have this parry in the air. Doesn't look like it means much. But you can actually do move with it. So... You have this kick. Or, I'm sorry, this sword. That can be amplified. You have this kick. Also can be amplified. You have a bunch of options if your opponent is attacking and you're in the air. You absorb their hit and you hit them with their own. I don't think there's a... There's amplification but no dive kick. There are no other moves. Those are the best moves for it. So now we've gone over the warp needle as well as the... Um, what's the other one called? Not Skywalker. Wind Barrier. Warp, needle and will, warp Needle and Wind Barrier. What you got? Lots of fun for the whole family. Now, for the main event. Again, swaggy stuff, man. Like, you ain't gotta be swaggy, but we swaggy. Skywalker. <laughs> Skywalker is this very interesting maneuver. You can use it in the corner to get out of the corner. <laughs> you can use it to stop anti airs If your opponent insists on throwing projectiles, you can get over a lot of projectiles. And you end up with two moves. Or, or three real moves. Or three real options. Let's say options. First is cancel. Pretty quick cancel. You do have some recovery time, but it ain't a lot. You can also do this if you sense your opponent's going to jump, especially if they're going to jump back. You can reach them, and once you hit them, just like the the cloud parry wind barrier thing, you can amplify that for more damage. And just like wind barrier, you get the dive kick that you can amplify. Now. As you see, you go to the other side, and you can still you can still kick. Everything can be done on either side, so you have a way to to trick your opponent. You don't have to connect with the dive kick either. That's that's beautiful. That's really good. Now, it says if you take two steps in the air, you get the crushing blow. You don't have to. I prefer just going on the other side first. Pretty good damage. Can be comboed. That is important. We'll get to that in a second. Because again, we the swag. We the swag king. Of course it can be comboed. Whoops. Come on. I got this to work earlier and I want it to work now. I'm never going to be able to get this to work though. Uh, did I do that one? Okay, come on. That let me say this: that is comboable, whether I'm able to do it or not. It is comboable, comboable. Not figuring out how I did it though. It may have been the slide. There it goes. There it goes. So you can hit the slide, go into fatal blow. and get over 50% damage. Easy. It is a little bit of a learning barrier. You kinda gotta get the timing right, but if you do hit that crushing blow, you got some options you can work with. And that's so neat. It's a weird variation, because this right here can also get you hit by projectiles. That is very important. It is not a you'll never hit me kind of thing. All right, two. See, you still get knocked out of the sky. Not always, though. You 
because he goes up a little bit. So you got to be at a certain point in the run before you can do it. Look at that, though. So you see the kind of thing you can do if your opponent's a little projectile happy? Looking at you, Robocop. So you have these options. And I like them. Uh, you also have the option to tornado yourself. <laughs> okay. I don't like this all that much. Mainly because I like the other options so much. How much was that? That's 80 damage. This at max is 57. Over 3 hits. You may be able to combo that. I don't think I've tried just yet. It's a possibility I'm betting. Either way, I don't want it. Alright. I am a slave to this right here. Dive kicks. Look at this. Woohoo! Woohoo! So a lot of swaggy stuff you can do. Uh, again, I'm not great, so... Don't let me... Make you feel like this is all you got. Uh, uh, uh. 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 So I can't cancel... So you can't cancel everything in the Skywalker, but when you can, it's a lot of fun. Skywalker is the main event of this, this particular thing. I mean, it's Cloud Walker variation, but Skywalker is the big thing. I prefer this needle. Um, I do like the, the, the big kick, because the big kick allows you to um, go from one end of the screen to the other, and if they block, you still end up, you can still put yourself at an advantageous position by going over their head and landing far away. So they're trying to punish, they can't punish because you've gotten too far. But if you're fighting somebody with projectiles, it's not going to be a good idea because now you put yourself at a disadvantage because this is nice, but it's kind of slow. I didn't know that bounce more than once. That's <laughs> stupid. I feel like I'm playing Mega Man. Ah! So yeah, you got a lot of options in this variation. You still have the tornado. And the air tornado. Nope, you lose the air tornado. You just have your tornado. And the problem with the tornado is now... Uh, you can't amplify it. So that's about the best you're getting from it. That being said, this does hit in the air, so that's pretty good. Uh, pretty good anti-air. Not as good as your uppercut, but it's pretty good, and you still get. Oh no, you don't get the full mix up there, because you can't air it out. And that's all I got to say. See, we are moving right along. I can probably get a little more in depth than I'm actually getting, but right now I just want to make sure I get this content out because I've been feeling like crap all weekend. Uh, just inside emotionally and mentally and all that kind of jazz and the ability to just kind of come and Veg out for a little bit. has been good. and I want to ride this wave at least a little bit. I've been playing online, too It's, it's a lot of fun. These new characters are pretty fun uh, And the old characters are still fun, too if you're playing the right one uh, So now we got the final variation Yes, the cyclone Ha <laughs> uh, ha you get a couple of interesting things. Number one, these things that I showed you earlier that allow you to do this, you can now amplify them in the middle of the cycle of the whirlwind. Again, it don't do anything special. It's just swaggy, man. Look at the swag. My man don't even look at you. Got time for this? kick you out my face I'm the swag king prepare pre if you get beat by a Fujin prepare to get teabagged it's just gonna happen now instead of having your crossbow which is a standard maneuver 
a basic universal maneuver, you now have the wind push. Oh, the wind push. That's pretty cool. I just noticed that. Watch his, watch Shang, uh, Shang Shady's hair. Whoops, not now, but look at that. The wind blows it. That's pretty sick. Even if it doesn't hit, it still blows. That's, listen, Nether Realm Designers, that is attention to detail that you did not have to make. And it it shows, man. Tell you, man, we'll tell you the same thing I told y'all with uh, Final Fantasy. You can see a lot more with people who care. Doesn't hit. That's, so, that's pretty sick. Even if it doesn't hit, it'll still have an effect if you're close enough. Sick. So, did you have this wind blast as you see? Let me do this instead right quick. The key with the wind blast is that it doesn't do much damage. I don't think it does any. Yeah. It's a mid, but it doesn't do any damage. The thing is, now you can amplify it. I think that does damage. Yeah, 60 damage and knockdown. But otherwise, this little joker right here ain't really doing nothing. As the kids would say, that ain't hitting no nothing. <laughs> now, the key to that is, it is disruption. Understand what I'm saying? Oh, also, you still don't get the... Actually, you don't get any of the, the Swagmaster uh, tornado, tornado moves. Because that's gone now. You do get your kicks. What is that called? Can I call it Hurricane Kick? I mean, I'm gonna, but can I? Wind Kicks. It's a Hurricane Kick, alright? Tatsumaki Sumpiyaku! I know you can't say that, but I'm gonna say that. Tatsumaki. <laughs> your Tatsu. It's even done the same way a Tatsu is done. Get out of my face with this. Come on, Nether Realm. Tatsumaki Sumpiyaku! Alright. Uh, so... The key to this is, while it does no damage, record. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. One, two, three. Watch this. Disrupted. 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 I'm just outpacing him every time. It's hard to get your projectiles off. Because I'm always there. Now, here's the thing. It is limited while it is a good disruption tool. And will kind of keep your opponent, like, say you got a Shao Kahn over there who's trying to do um, do his uh, laugh or whatever or get his taunt off. Or, or Aaron Black's trying to reload or anything like that. You can keep him disrupted. It's limited because you need to know where they are. So if we're here, miss. If we're here, miss. There are all these circumstances where it misses. You have to have the right one. If I'm here, miss. So you are able to angle it as to where you want it to be. So you have a, I guess I didn't do that, but short. Your short one. This is your mid one. And this is the far one. You have a very limited hitbox to use. But if you see it hits, because it's so fast, you can spin that bar and knock the front out. Or if it misses, in that case. Say I got the wrong one. I'm doing the mid instead of the, the far. I can still do the amplification and probably get a hit. Or not. Three quarter screen probably. Let's go from here. About there. So, you have that as an option. This is neat. I like it. It's not as strong as everything else, but you still get your kicks and you don't get the other one. Now, because he is the swag king, this is his swag maneuver this time. It's a, it's a slam. It's an air slam. Right? So, whoops. Uh-huh. Ah, ah, what you want? What you want, boy? What you want? You don't want none of this? You don't want none of this? All right. Sit down. Sit down. 
Sit down. <laughs> and you can just catch them. Now, what makes this fun is that it is amplifiable. And watch this. You see how long he was in the air? <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, the cool part about this is if there's a mid, there's a far, and there's a very far. So you hit them everywhere they are. And that's so long that you can combo that. It. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. You can combo that. I love this. Again, it, you're not even doing that much damage, all right? You are not doing that much damage, but the swag implications of that are just amazing. And you throw in the fact that this is a natural launcher. So now all of a sudden, you have this. Wait, wait, wait. You know what time it is. Somebody at home knows exactly what time it is. So you have that. You don't have the, the hurricane. Wish I could hit that. Oops. I don't know if I have the wherewithal to catch that kid. Oh, I can't get the combo though. I don't know if I can do that. That would be good though, because that, that causes a stand state. Yeah, I'd have to I have to figure that out. I'm sure there's a way to do it. We do this one. Not too far. Anyway, you can do that. In addition, because that's comboable, you can do the slag. Yes. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Even this allows for swagginess of the swaggy. The swaggoo. And now you're back punishing your opponent from afar. So, in short, in summation, uh, Fujin's nice. Fujin's neat. There's nothing for me that is incredibly uh, special about Fujin that I just have to play him or would love to play him. That being said, I'll probably play Fujin a lot for the fun. Just because there's so much stuff so cool to do. Like, I'm not even, I'm not even joking. As, as not good as I, well, I'm not gonna, I don't want to say not good. As mediocre as I think he is, I think he's probably a C character. Uh, I'd say, let's say C or or low B. B minus to C plus. Somewhere around there. Um, he's, he's not a bad character. It's just that so much of his stuff is limited or requires you to be in a certain specific area. That kind of thing. He does have some really nice options with his keep away or his zoning. Because not in this variation but in the other variation with the crossbow. Not only can you shoot the bolts. But you can also angle them and make them go across the screen in different patterns so that the opponent has to now not just look at the projectile. They can't just look and say, I'm going to duck this one or I'm going to jump this one. They have to be in the right place where they're going to have to deal with a projectile coming their way. You have the fun of the hurricane kick, right? That's what I'm calling it. You have the slide, which is going to catch a lot of people off guard. Bison, uh, I'm trying to think of everybody who is uh, Dalsim even. All these people have slides, and this is better than a Dawson slide or a, a Bison slide because when you hit it, you can combo into special moves. All of a sudden, this is a force to be reckoned with. See what I mean? Particularly if you have Fatal Blow. If if you're fighting, uh, it's it's not as fast as Sub Zero, so it's not quite as bad. But if you're fighting against the Fujin and they've got Fatal Blow and you are in Fatal Blow range. You need to be careful and trying to block low to bait this out. Is it, how, what is it on block? It's gotta be bad on block. 90-16 on block. So you can punish them if that's the case. But if they 
sneak around and hit this, all of a sudden you're in trouble. Because not only is this 20% damage, but if I have Fatal Blow, all I gotta do, and I've won a couple of matches today with that same thing, just kind of keeping them at a good range, make them worry more about projectiles than anything else, and then when they least expect it, just kind of move in and boom. And once it hits, Fatal Blow, we got good damage. We got 30% damage coming your way. And if you're in Fatal Blow territory, you just lost the match. Why? Not because your opponent just outplayed you. They were just, you just didn't watch your feet. Punishable. Very punishable. But you got to be ready for it. Because this right here, for not the serious Fujin players, for the people who played uh, Scorpion, because he has the high-low mix-ups all the time and you can do the chain combos and all that kind of stuff. Oh, they're going to get a kick out of this, bro. We finna get all your combat league matches. You finna get a whole bunch of this. Just ridiculous pressure. <laughs> now again, it ain't that fast. You can kind of see it coming. The range is not incredible. So from about this range, three-quarter screen or so, you're not, well, you are still getting hit. Wow. So it's not devastating, but it is something to keep in mind. Yeah, that's somebody else, I'm sorry. Uh, there, there is something to keep in mind, so. Just keep in mind what you got here. Play Fujin, he's a lot of fun. People who are better than me will show you all of the good stuff with him. Um, I think he's got potential for a lot of swag. I think that's his best thing, is that he's a fun character. Does it, uh... Two, three, yeah. <laughs> so much potential to just be fun. And that's one of the things that has made Mortal Kombat such a good game because there are so many characters that may not be the most viable characters in the game, but they are fun to play. Whatever their gimmick is, is so much fun and you just want to play them for gimmick's sake. Santa's is going to be short, it still ended up being 40 something minutes. Ain't that a shame. <laughs> let me tell you this then if this one ended up being 40 something minutes you better believe Shiva's gonna be 40 something minutes Shiva might be an hour and a half cause I'm very excited about Shiva yes either way play Fujin he's nice Swag King watch this 20% <laughs> off the jump in. that's stupid He's, listen, he's fun, but he's fun for that very reason. Just because Fujin does silly things that you wouldn't expect. By the way, that there is a walk back here. I don't know what it comes from. But after you amplify this, there's a bit of a walk back. He doesn't fall directly where he is. See where he is now? So he's already moved, slides over. He's over by the shield now. That is good to know, though, from the beginning of the match. So I gotta get to the shield. I still haven't been able to catch him with the uppercut off that. And I haven't gotten the full timing just yet. But, when you get it, the slide is usually good because it catches so much. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Now touch me, baby. So, that's Fujin. Be sure to take a look at him when you get the opportunity. Some of y'all will be playing Fujin and be looking at this like, you trash. Yep, I am. That's okay. <laughs> I'm okay with this. As long as you're okay, I'm cool. But there will be more to come. Next up will be Shiva, the lady that I am most excited about. Mm. Walk it how she talking about. <laughs> Either way, thanks for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Stick around next time for more stuff. We are all we are done with the storyline. The story the videos are popping up. So the next video will probably be up today and then the finale, I think like that. On the last day of May 2020. Everybody out there, hey, stay safe, man. It's a lot going on right now. Don't Don't put yourself in a position which you can't get yourself out of. Take your time. Think. Stay safe. Uh, make sure you check in with yourself. Uh, I am a religious man. I check in with my God. I ask for his protection, his wisdom, his safety. I ask for that for you. Uh, if you are not a religious person, whatever you got to do to keep your head straight, stay safe, stay sane. Don't just, just 
take care of yourselves out there, man. It's a lot going on. And it's easy to get dragged into it. And it's easy to put yourself in a bad position because of it. Just take your time on that. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.